This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at renewable and non-renewable energy sources. We will start by looking at renewable energy sources. Renewable energy sources are naturally replenished. Here we have some examples. There's solar, wind, hydroelectric, geothermal, biomass and tidal. Solar power uses the energy from the sun and converts it to electrical energy. A wind turbine uses the kinetic energy of the wind and converts it to electrical energy. In a hydroelectric power station, the gravitational potential energy of the water behind the dam is converted to electrical energy. Geothermal energy uses the energy within the earth to heat water. The steam produced can either be used to generate electricity or for heating. In biomass, plant material such as wood can be burned to produce heat. In addition, the glucose produced in photosynthesis can be converted to ethanol, which is a biofuel. And finally, in tidal, the kinetic energy of the waves is converted to electrical energy. Next, we look at the advantages and disadvantages of each renewable energy source. As you can see, all renewable energy sources have the same advantage in that they are renewable and sustainable. Next, we look at the disadvantages of each energy source. The main disadvantage of solar is that it's not available at night. Next, wind. Wind turbines are unsightly and create noise. In hydroelectric, large areas of land are flooded to create the reservoir behind the dam. Next, we look at geothermal, biomass and tidal. A disadvantage of geothermal is that it's only suited to particular regions. Biomass is only renewable and sustainable if the crops are regrown. In biomass, land used to grow biomass crops could be used to grow food crops instead. And tidal can disrupt the migration of fish. Next, we look at non-renewable energy sources. Non-renewable energy sources such as coal, oil and natural gas are finite. The formation of coal, oil and natural gas, as well as their advantages and disadvantages, are covered in later videos.